I'm back this week with part two of my Downtown Milford series. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Stacy Olson with the Malatini team at William Ravis Real Estate. And on my channel, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about living on the Connecticut coast. So for part two of this series, I'm gonna focus on where River Street meets West River Street in downtown Milford. First, let me start off by saying it is absolutely beautiful in this section of downtown. There are quaint ponds. There's always tons of ducks and geese walking around. It's just the quintessential New England vibe. When you look around, you see a lot of old buildings and some really beautiful churches. One church in particular is First Congregational, and it's really well known because you can actually see it many times on things like Hallmark movies when they're doing like an aerial view of a quaint New England town. You may have recognized it in some of the shows. I know I've seen it. And it's funny because sometimes people on the Milford Facebook page will comment about it. Like, hey, I was just watching, you know, whatever this movie was, and I saw Milford in it. And they do the shot of the church with the pond. And it's just absolutely beautiful. As you walk around, you're also going to see something very emotional. The 9-11 memorial that was erected in order to honor those people that lost their lives the day this country was attacked. And every year they have a ceremony. The mayor comes out. Uh, they have a nice dedication and it's a really somber moment but it's really comforting to know that Milford erected this beautiful monument for them. And if you wander around a little bit there's a bridge that goes over the Weepawog River right on River Street and it's actually called the Jefferson Bridge and there's a plaque right there on the bridge that says that the original bridge was built there in 1802 during the presidency of Thomas Jefferson. So this part of downtown is really just beautiful. You can come down and enjoy the views. There's plenty of benches there. You can bring your dog, sit down, watch the pond. They have a little uh, bridge that goes down to the waterfall area so you can get a closer view. Honestly, it's probably one of the most beautiful spots in Milford. So this area of Milford, I would say, is probably the heart of the Milford government. This is where most of those buildings are situated. First off, you have your huge post office right there on West River Street, and right next to it is Superior Court. City Hall is actually wedged right where these two streets meet, and it's really a beautiful building. So that's where all of our elected officials actually work from, so that like the mayor works out of that building. And right outside of City Hall is an amazing statue that actually honors those lost in the World Wars. and specifically those people from Milford that were lost. It really is a beautiful memorial, and if you're downtown, you really should check it out. It lists all the names of the soldiers right on the plaque. I can't talk about government buildings without talking about Parsons. Most folks living in Milford will visit Parsons at least once during the year, if not several times. So this is where you go for the tax assessor, right? So if you pay your taxes in person, you also have to go here when you get your beach sticker. Um, there's an auditorium there, so you might have a graduation in there, or your child might be playing sports in the gym there. It actually used to be Milford High School way back in the day, so it's a really large building and accommodates a lot of things for Milford. I know personally that I actually went there and had my uh, COVID vaccination there for Milford. So they do run a lot of events for the community in there as well. So this little section of downtown actually has some great shops that you need to check out. First, I'm gonna talk about the Gilded Lily. I have to say, before I did this video, I had never been in there. I've seen it so many times and I'm mad at myself that I never stopped in because it's super cute. Gilded Lily really celebrates artists. They have everything in there. They have paintings, jewelry, sculptures. I mean, if you're looking for something for decor for your home, or a gift for someone, this is a great place to stop in. And what's even better is that they have a lot of Connecticut-based artists. When I was in there, there literally is a wall full of paintings that were done by local artists that are just scenes in Milford. And I spoke to the owner and he said they like to celebrate our local artists, so that's why they put them front and center in the shop. Another shop you need to check out is Static Era Records. How cool is this? They have a record shop right in downtown Milford. 
I love the retro vibe in there. And like long gone are the days of the record stores, right? Like I remember going to like Sam Goody and places like that when I was a teenager, but I was already buying like cassettes and CDs. So like records were even like before my time. I know that vinyl is making a comeback these days and it's pretty cool that they have this shop here and they have a great Facebook page and you should check it out. They promote new albums, they have giveaways, they show off some of the great products they offer there. And again, they have both new and old records. So it's not all just like old things from, you know, the 70s and earlier. They have things that are current because like I said, vinyl is getting cool again. So also in this area of downtown, there's three, I'd say salon slash barber shops right in this area. First, there's Flawless Beauty Bar, and this is a full service salon right there. And they offer many services, including haircuts, colors, styling, and even waxing. A few doors down is the Fresh Salon. This salon has actually been there for almost 10 years, and it's an exclusive Aveda salon, and it's the only one in the area. And then a little bit further down is River 3 Barbershop, and this was established in the 50s. I know, it's still there. They are for traditional, corporate, and modern styling. And they do like walk-ins, but you can also make an appointment. Another great small business you really should stop in is Casablanca Couture and Tailoring. This shop was founded by a master tailor and expert of haute couture. She studied fashion design in Italy and French schools. And she was actually born in Casablanca, Morocco, hence the name Casablanca Tailor Shop. She does everything from dress alterations to suit tailoring to custom work. Yeah, custom designs. So if you need any of these services for a wedding, a prom, a corporate event, a black tie event, you definitely need to stop in to support her local small business. Now for some of the tasty spots to check out in this area. First, the corner. All I have to say is this is a must for all people who visit downtown Milford. The corner has been a staple here since 1997. So yeah, they just celebrated their 25th anniversary of being in business. This is more of like a gourmet brunch experience because they don't just have breakfast foods, they also have lunch foods and everything in between. And yeah, you can find your old standbys like pancakes and omelets, but they also have things like stuffed French toast, chorizo burritos, and pulled duck. They weren't featured on the Food Network for no reason. But just a heads up, this is a cash only establishment, so come prepared. Another great eatery is Natural Kitchen, and this one only just opened up last year. So not only do they have amazing bowls, burritos, and salads, but they also have bubble tea and bubble waffles. I mean, honestly, the bowls are to die for. They have everything from tuna to chicken to shrimp, to even vegan specialties. It's just a breath of fresh air and the food is great. The colors are vibrant and everything is super fresh. It's an absolute must if you're looking for a healthy, fresh lunch. Another great little place down there is River Street Restaurant. This is a quaint Italian restaurant that's been around again for 25 years. They have all of your traditional Italian favorites from pizza to Parmesan to Marsala to vodka sauce. I mean, yum. They also have a small outdoor patio right out in front of the restaurant. So you have beautiful downtown views as you dine al fresco. And another great new addition to downtown is Sprout. This is a raw juice bar. What are raw juices? Basically, they're the powerhouses of nutrition. Sprout serves cold pressed juices that contain soluble fiber as well as antioxidants. But not only do they have these raw juices, they have Aki bowls, wellness shots, elixirs, and delicious smoothies. You definitely need to give them a try. You won't be disappointed. So have I lured you to downtown yet? Between my two videos, there's plenty to do. But wait, I'm going to have another video next week. But if you hadn't caught my video last week, check it out here. And if you like my videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and I'll see you next week.